Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill at Scrap Me Quick Designs and I am answering questions in my Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group about different things about the Cricut Explorer and one of the questions that I received is my machine starting to look kind of dirty what can I use to clean it off with and um, how do I clean my rollers and how do I just make sure I'm keeping my machine in good shape so today I wanted to show you what I do to kind of clean up my machine. I've done a lot of cutting recently uh, for a big event that I did with Cricut in Houston and so my machine got a lot of use and I can see that I've got all kinds of paper ish paper spots in here and my rollers are really dirty from rolling on a, a glitter paper. I can see a little bit of glitter on there. Um, so this is what I do. I actually use a, a baby wipe okay and you want one that's a non-alcohol based and it's just a regular one I buy a box of them I keep these handy actually in my craft room it's just a container and I keep it right here next to my machine because I use that for wiping glue off my fingers and my mat and uh, use them to clean my machine with I um, I just find it handy to have some sitting here next to my desk. So what I wanted to show you was um, it, if you would open up your machine and you notice that your that your um, rollers are getting really dirty. Let me see if I can pull this in a little. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Um, you can probably tell on this green blade, you can see it. I've got green, dark green glitter on there, so I want to get that off. So this is what I would do. I'm going to take my baby wipe and kind of fold it up, and I am going to actually lay it up here against my roller like this, and then I'm going to turn my machine on. And when it turns the machine on, it starts rolling the roller. Okay, and now the glitter, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, you can see it. So now the glitter is off of my roller and is onto my baby wipe, okay? So I would, I would repeat that process for each side of my machine, and then I want to be able to just kind of clean around here, make sure I get it all wiped off. I'm going to move my housing over. You want to do that gently. You don't want to shove it. I just gently moved it over out of the way. And now I'm going to just kind of clean in here where I can see that I've got a lot of paper. Now the one thing you never want to touch, you do not want to touch your back uh, piece here that is actually the chain that moves your machine back and forth. Do not ever touch that chain. <laughs> but it's okay to go get in here and... Um, and clean between the two metal metal bars. Okay. And I'm just going to clean that off. Okay. Let me get that in here. There again, I'm just going to gently pull my housing over to the left now. And you can see how slowly I'm doing it. I'm not jerking it. I'm just barely moving it over. And then I want to clean over here. And I'm just gently wiping it off to get any of that dirt and lint off of there. And I may need to use another wipe. Taking care of your machine is important to make sure that um, it performs at its optimum amount. And I'm just going to wipe it off really good here. I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning. Okay, I just wipe it off. Just kind of make sure I've got any dust particles off of it. Just gently wiping it. Okay, and then I'm going to turn my machine off. 
and then wait a second and turn it back on so that it resets my housing for me. All the rollers are now clean. Everything looks good. And now my machine is ready for me to use it again and it's in good shape. So that's how I clean my machine. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. You just want to make sure that you're not touching this back um, uh, tra chain. And uh, when you're cleaning, sometimes you will get a little bit of grease on your rag and that is perfectly fine. That is machine grease that gets thrown from that chain in the back. And um, it, if you'll notice when I was cleaning on this one, see I have some of that machine grease because it just gets thrown from the chain back here onto the metal bars. And so you can just uh, make sure that, uh, you know, you're not smearing that all over your machine. Anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. Is there anything else I can show you about the Cricut Explorer? I'm making uh, videos, oh, probably two or three a week now because um, there's so much to learn about the Cricut Explorer machine. So have a great day. Follow me over at Let's Learn Cricut Explorer Facebook group, also on my blog at Scrap Me Quick Designs. And of course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed so that you don't miss any of these videos. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.